previously on The Biggest Loser. Again! The black team struggled to regroup after their first trip to the elimination room. Do not cry, it's just exercise. At the challenge, Phil dominated yet again for the red team. Back on campus, the struggling black team was dealt a serious blow. You step back cold and your mom is not doing well. And at the weigh-in, the blue team blew away the competition. <laughs> Once again, the red team found themselves headed to the elimination room. And tempers flared over team strategy. Amy, this game is going to eat you alive. I think you just threw me out of the box. In the elimination room, a split decision forced the blue team to cast the deciding vote. And a vote for Phil. I'm going to miss each and every one of you. So far, the players on campus have lost an incredible total, 730 pounds. Yeah! How much weight will they lose this week on their way to becoming the biggest loser? To the kitchen, uh, we saw our tables set up like poker tables. Well, everyone, as you can see, today the stakes are very serious. Every week so far, you have had to say goodbye to a teammate. But after today, you will all have to say goodbye to your teammates. There wasn't going to be any more teams. No more red team, blue team, or black team. I started getting upset. I don't want to lose my trainer. I don't want to lose my team. Wow. You each will be divided into trios. And these new teams of three will compete together at the Temptations, at the Challenges, at the Weigh-ins. If you win today's Temptation, you will get to reconfigure the teams as you see fit. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And the plot thickens. <laughs> We're going to play a game of high-low. High card wins. Instead of betting with money, you'll be betting with calories. But the catch is, whatever you bet, you also have to eat. I want to choose the teams because you have the total power. So I honestly was prepared to eat every single thing on that table. So if you want the power to control this game, you're going to have to ante up. And this table has a two-cookie ante. B, you ready to ante up? Two vanilla wafers. Let's do it. B is ready to play. All right. <laughs> Bill. I'm in for two. Bill has played this before. Amy wants to play. Oh, they're good. Yeah, all right, let's do it. Mm. Taste. <laughs> As Cowboy says, bet to see the river. First of all, those cookies are not worth it to eat. So I'm not playing. Is it really that worth it? Because if you lose, you've just eaten 2,000 calories for nothing. Good for you. All right, Nicole, let's do it. Ryan? I want to play. Our destiny's at hand, so I'm going to try to control it. David throws his hat in the ring. All right, Holly, you're up. I'm in. Julie's in. Jez. Outside of K, 
I can say that I'm really disappointed in everyone here because uh, no one did two at once. <laughs> okay, we have 11 players, and I'm going to deal each of you one card. Take a look at your cards. Don't show it to anyone. So when the cards were dealt, I had the worst luck ever. And I was dealt a deuce. All right, guys. Let's play some cards. Be your first. I'll take it up. <laughs> Three more, nil away. I was dealt a two at the beginning of the game, and I decided, you know, bluff as far as I could. I'm going to raise. There's his three vanilla wafers and one cracker. I'm going to raise one more cracker. <laughs> so, Amy, to you. I'm going to do three vanilla wafers, two crackers, and a stack of them. Whoa! With each bet, the stakes get higher. Three vanilla wafers, two crackers, and a stack of peanut butter cups. Mmm. Neil, it's to you. The stakes are getting higher, the bets were increasing. I looked around at me, and you know there's still about six or seven people to act after I did, and I just knew it was in my best interest to lay it down and just hope for the best and let my fate be in somebody else's hands. Yeah, those stakes are too high for me. I'm out. Neil Fultz. I had an ace, and uh, I, I was planning on going as high as I thought it was necessary. I have to do this. I'm not happy about it at all. Nicole, the bet is to you. I guess you always have to take a risk, so I'm going to do it. So Nicole called. Ryan, it's to you. I'm confident that whatever the results, I'll be all right, so I'm going to fold. So it's to you, David. It was crazy for me to try to bluff with a deuce. I just come too far to eat that stuff. I had to let somebody else control my fate. David folds too, Holly. We are to you. I see it, and I raise it three cookies. All right, Julie, you have a big decision to make. Holly has just raised the stakes even more. So for you to stay in this game, you will have to eat three vanilla wafers, two crackers, five peanut butter treats, and three chocolate chip cookies. No way. No. Julie folds. Jez, you have a decision to make here. Bon appetit. I'll have a little cheese with my crackers. And I don't want my breath to smell bad, so I think I'll have two chocolate peppermints. I raise. So, there are seven players still in. B, Bill, Amy, Isabeau, Nicole, Holly, and Jez. And just for the record, B, Jez has raised the stakes. It is now an over 800 calorie ante. All right, Allison, I call, and I like to raise two cheese and two chocolate cream cookies. All right, B has just raised the stakes to over 1,000 calories. Without further ado, I fold. Fills out. Amy. You know what, Allison? I'm confident. I'm all in. Let's go for it. I got this. It's one hell of a block, girlfriend. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, we will. Eating all that yucky, high-fat, Sugary candy food was horrible. It was very hard to get it down. Oh, Seeing these people being, you know, disgusted and, and Amy, you know, gagging, it's just like, it made it even more repulsing. Oh, So, Amy is all in. Isabel, the decision is to you. You're looking at over 1,700 calories to stay in this game. I had the ace, but I just, I couldn't even imagine eating that, honestly, and, and it just didn't seem worth it. I'm done. I fold. Nicole, the decision is to you. For me, it's about it's about losing weight, so I fold. The decision is to Holly. It's not worth it to me, so I'm out. Jez, you ready to leave your fate in Amy's hands? Oh my god. I've already eaten a lot, and Jillian's gonna have it out. So uh what's going a little further? <laughs> It was a big enough prize that I knew that, you know, I had to go for it. Oh. 
freaking puke. I'm not even kidding. We have three players left. B, Amy, and Jess. B, what about you? I'm gonna follow Kenny Rogers' footsteps and uh, you know the rest. I fold. I let those two guys uh, battle it out. Amy, Jez are all in, and we are gonna see some cards. So it all comes down to this. The power to choose the teams, change the face of this game forever. Now it's time to find out who has the high card. It all comes down to this. The power to choose the teams will change the face of this game forever. Now it's time to find out who has the high card. Amy has the nine of hearts. Oh my god. Jess, you need a ten or higher to win control of this game. Amy was a wonderful competitor, but is always win. I had the premonition that Amy was bluffing. I think really she just wanted to get a couple peanut butter cups down. <laughs> I thought that, you know, with the calorie count of the food and with confidence, I could get, you know, some of these people to, to fold. Jez, you have the power to determine the future of this game. You will not only be choosing the two people that will make up your team of three, but you will be selecting the other three teams. Wow. You will have one hour to make your decision. We will meet back up in the lounge to hear what you have decided. Choose wisely. Good luck. I know from here on in, it's his decision of what my fate's gonna be while I'm on campus. It's the first time since I've been here, I feel like I can't control my fate as much as I was able to before. Congratulations, buddy. That's fine. It was a valiant effort, so I'll take into consideration your tenacity. No, just think about, think about our goals. That's think about I a lot say. of things. This decision is going to be more difficult than, than I, I had signed up for. If I was you, I would put myself with the bigger threat. Because regardless, either they're gonna help you pull numbers so you don't lose, or if y'all do lose, they won't vote you off, they'll vote the bigger threat. Hmm. That's what I would do. That's what I would do. You start wondering where where should your allegiances lie, and there's a lot of factors that go into it. You gotta make sure you look it up for yourself first, and then worry about everybody else's playing field and who works well. Worry about everybody else so I can win. The only thing I would say is try and split us up as best as possible. When you go to elimination, having other black team and other teams will help. It was a tough decision, but I knew that it was better that I made it for myself and know exactly where I was going to be rather than put that in someone else's hands. I know all of you must be dying to hear who your new teammates are. So let's hear it. Start with team number one. I'd like to announce the first trio. That would be Kay. With Kay, there will be David. And the final member of the first trio will be Holly. I know this sounds mean, but I really don't know Holly. And so I, I was a little bit nervous because I didn't know how she worked. You know, I, I tried to accept it, but at the same time, I was like, is this going to work? The second trio, I'd like to start out with Amy. I think we'll add to Amy uh, a little bit of Julie. And uh, I think we'll round it out with a big scoop of Bill. Two down, here we go. Jez, team number three. Team number three starts with B. Alongside him, I think we should add Nicole. And to round it off, let's go with Ryan. I am extremely happy with my trio. I adore Ryan, obviously. And B is strong, and he's a great guy. And Jez, your team consists of? Neil, Isabeau, and myself. Jez, can you tell me what made you choose these teams? I, I really, I think we're all great competitors. I wanted to kind of have an even playing field. I took some personal gain into consideration, and um, this is what I came out with. 
I think Jess picked Isabeau O'Neill for two reasons. If they were to fall below the yellow line, the other teams are not gonna vote Jez out first because Neil is the biggest male threat and Isabeau is the biggest female threat here. So it's kind of a double security thing. You all have your new teams? Get to know them. You will be weighing in as trios. And the trio with the lowest percentage of weight loss will fall below what we call the yellow line, which means that those three people will be up for elimination. Good luck. I definitely feel at this point, it's anyone's game. Jez really, you know, distributed the players, I think, evenly. We're gonna have to see how the scale is to everybody at the next weigh-in. What do y'all think about as far as, like, the training situation now, though? I'll be honest, I think it'd be hard for me to not work with Buff. In the trio setup, we can work out with whichever trainer we choose to work with, but we will weigh in together, and if we fall below the yellow line as a trio, we will be up for elimination. Something happened. Enough. Looking at the new team. We're looking at the new teams. teams. Right. All right. Four teams of three. Who chose them? How did it happen? What's going on? Jez chose them. It was a temptation. Temptation. What does that mean? It means that we compete with these people from now on. We're no Pretty longer a black team. team. You can train with who you want to train with. Yeah. yeah. Wait, how does it work? Yeah, what? There's no biggest loser anymore. Biggest loser doesn't count. Biggest loser doesn't count. So well, everybody who's under the yellow line is up for elimination. Oh. And there's no biggest loser in here. Well, Wendy, what you guys need to think about is, yeah, there is no gameplay up until it comes time to elimination. And then think about the game. Yeah, how did they work yesterday when, when you wanted to get rid of me? I'll be honest with you. Right now, Phil and B are carrying this team. Amy, this game is going to eat you alive. And I have to be honest with you. You know when the time to play the game is? About an hour or two before you go to elimination, not the whole week. Kim and I have, you know, had a couple of pretty difficult days. It's hard to trust somebody who, you know, kind of try to get you eliminated. Play the game when you absolutely have to. You say that when that's convenient for you. All right, I say we go. Time is wasting. Let's go. So who's trying with what? Amy came to me and asked me if I would work with her. Are you ready for that? Don't you think that I could put up such bigger numbers? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think that there's a huge rift. I think that I need Jillian at this point. Amy, I would like to talk to you, please, so we can work this out. You owe me at least that much respect to come talk to me. You have just disrespected me so hard that I don't even know what to say to you. I feel the same way. Do you have any idea how hard I focus and work on you? You've lost as much weight that you've lost because of me. And I will be the first person to say it's because of you. But I will also be the first one to say that if I think if you had your way, I would have went home. Amy has the teenage years going on where you hate your parents. Right now, I'm mom and she hates me. It hurts me so bad when you look at me and act like I don't care that you're here. That's how I feel. I would never wish you off this campus, ever. I train you the way that I think is gonna benefit you best while you're here and long term. And it's up to you to make your decision as to what you wanna do from there. I mean, I have to go with what I feel is going to keep me here the longest. It's definitely because I feel betrayed that, you know, I've decided to train with Jillian. I don't want you to take it personally. Yeah, I don't have to like that you're going to train with Jillian. I'm hurt. I'm hurt by what she's done to me. I feel like with Amy, I've built this amazing foundation. And now somebody else is going to build that sky rise on my foundation that I spent so much time working on. I truly feel like right now, everything that I have put into you is gone. So let's, you know, let's not hash this out anymore. I agree, let's not, let's not. Did you eat? Do you need to eat? I, I think. I don't know. Holly, take it to 11. Keep the speed. 30 and 30. 
Him and I separating, I feel like Jillian's all I've got. It's a hard transition, but I'm, you know, I'm hoping for the best. You're yeah, having a hard day. It's all right. It's totally gonna work. Don't worry. You don't even have to think. I'm gonna walk you through every single step of it, and all I want you to do right now is just do it. There's been a ton of drama with Amy and Kim and Jillian and that. It's very hard for me to work out in a positive environment with my original black team when I have basically a stepsister now. Nine, <laughs> lean back into the heels. Like, wow. Jillian's time with Amy has infringed on my time a little bit. I'm hoping that there'll be no more, you know, tears or drama of any kind and we can just kind of get back to work the way that we usually do with Jillian. Go, if I you say keep 30 going. 30 seconds. Holly, if I say keep going, keep going. I know, but you keep doing that every single Doesn't time. Doesn't matter, then it keep going. Matter. Get lower, you do not get to stop. I feel pretty good about competing as a trio tonight. This is the first time Jazz, Isabel, and myself are together as a team. I think we're gonna do pretty well. I was like, is this where Grease was filmed? I didn't know what this place was. And I was like, damn, what are we gonna do today? This can't be good. Hey, everyone. Hello. Hello. Hey. Welcome to your first challenge as trios. How's it been going with your new teammates? Great. Really good. Good, are you all ready to face this challenge? Yeah. yeah. This week's challenge is the perfect opportunity to take advantage of your new team's strengths and be there to support your team when they need you. These four metal arms rotate on an axis, and each one is pretty heavy. On the word go, each team will push their arm in a circle. You'll notice that there are platforms on each of the arms. So two team members get to stand on the platforms while the third team member is pushing the arm in the circle. So you can swap out teammates whenever you want. The first team to complete 75 revolutions wins. Mm. Whoa. My first reaction was, ooh, this is gonna be interesting because David weighs this much, Holly weighs this much, am I able to push that much? So I was a little bit nervous because I, I didn't know if I had the strength enough to push everyone's weight plus the cage. Each member of the winning team will receive the new Biggest Loser branded Bowflex Home Gym System. We've talked a lot about how you're gonna maintain your workouts and your weight loss once you guys are back home. Well, this Bowflex in-home exercise equipment will certainly help you do that. Obviously, we weren't going to the gym before we came here, so it would be really nice to come home and to have a piece of equipment that does so many awesome things. To me, that's a fantastic prize. Let's do it. Let's do it. All I could think of was that there's gonna be two people in that basket and that contraption, how are we gonna do this for 75 laps? Whether you're sitting at your office chair, on your couch, or on an ab ball, you can get a quick calf workout by simply leaning forward, putting a little bit of weight on your toes, and lifting the heel. Team's ready! I told my teammates I would do my best to get a lead, and once we had a lead, then we would start subbing out. Get set! In the beginning, I thought, if we can just stay steady, and hope that at the end they would, they would slack off or run out of gas. Go! All right, you got it. Let's go. Go for the ball flex, baby. Come on, though, come on. Woo, come on, baby. You're so strong. Come on. Kay and Holly both pushing from the platform. They are using their strength to help David as he pushes. All right, B, here we go. Bill's the first one to get around. B and David are right behind right, time, Bill. Bill's in last place. Come on, B. Bill's in the lead, B is right behind him. Uh, hurt. What hurts? Ah. Neil's already swapped off. You're good shape, Jess takes over. <laughs> Only 70 more to go after this. Doing good really job, good, Jess. Awesome. Go team! Bill, after completing 12 circles, is taking a break. All right, let's go. Last lap. Ah! Oh. Here we 
Gone. We got him by about a quarter of a lap. Amy takes a break. It's Julie's turn. Julie and Nicole are both fighting for the lead. Julie's a little bit ahead. She's about to get to 22. Keep that all right, though. And Julie pulls up short. Right, She's going to switch out with Bill. Go, 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 go. Nicole's team is taking the lead. Doing good, buddy. Doing good. Let's go. You're an ox, Bill. You're an ox. Come on. You're almost there. Be Bill, We're neck and neck. Now. They're fighting for that bow flex. Kay and Holly doing everything they can to try to catch up. <laughs> Bill looks like he could do this all night. Bill's at round 50. He is more than two thirds of the way there. Good job, B. Come on, B. Go, Bill! Looks like it's gonna be a showdown between B's team and Bill's team. You're our hero, yeah, B! Yeah! Go, go, go! Woo! Oh Come on, Bill, come on! All oh. muscle! Come on, Amy, you do one? Nice. Oh, That's a beat town girl right there! Amy's turn. Come on, Bill, come on, come yeah, on, come on, Bill, come on! Two rounds left to win this! Amy's hustling. Go. Go, go, go. Go, go, Amy, go. Amy is yeah. running through these last two rounds. She's a machine. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. go, Amy, go. go, go. go you can do it. Finish it up, go, go, baby. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Finish it, finish it, finish it. just won themselves, those bow flexes. It was fun to see Amy excited and my team excited. We won our first challenge as a trio. Fortunately, we had Bill, who's a stinking workhorse. We might as well just put a saddle on him and let us ride into town. It was unbelievable. I'm a very competitive person. And to lose, it definitely dampened my spirits. If I had to compare it, it would be the hardest challenge that we've had so far. Ah, you are so strong. I was really happy, not only for myself, but for my teammates as well. Congratulations, Amy, Julie, Bill. That was amazing. You guys did an incredible job, and you have earned your Biggest Loser Bowflex home gym. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I will see you all at the weigh-in, where the trio with the lowest percentage of weight loss will be up for elimination. I'll see you then. Good luck. Good night. <laughs> okay, Nicole, we're going to talk breakfast. Okay. What I want to show you are things that you can be able to eat when it's time to go home. Quaker has made a weight control oatmeal that I think is going to be able to carry with you for the rest of your life. I like oatmeal. Okay. It's only 160 calories, so when you're watching your calories, it's got six grams of fiber and seven grams of protein. We got, what about maple brown sugar? Yes. You wanna try that? Love it. Okay, good. I'm gonna have some with you. I don't wanna get the other one. Goes in the microwave. Breakfast is one of the most important meals of the day because it's all about boosting your metabolism, getting yourself up and burning. Hot. It's Looks good. good. Mm. How good is that? It's Come good on. stuff. Okay, good. <laughs> Come on. Let's go do our last chance workout. We're gonna get the best <sighs> last chance workout ever. Harder, go dig, dig, dig faster. Come on, guys, B, go. This is your last chance workout, B. This is it. Come on, faster, cowboy. I think it was a good decision to stick with Kim. It's time for us all to get back focused on what we're here for, and that's to get healthy no matter who you train with. How bad you wanna win this? Bad. Hold it, do not let up at all. Seven, Seven six, five. Four, three, two, one. This is your last chance workout today, Ryan. I'm gonna run you out, make it harder. Pick it up. This whole trio scenario, I think it's gonna take a little time to, to balance your loyalty. Your loyalty is gonna be with the people that you feel closest to. I think you've gotten stronger this week, Neil. It's my job in this last chance workout to see that you hit double digits again. Go, 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 go! Ah! Come on. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Oh. I think Amy has a lot of potential that, frankly, she's just not hitting. We can do this. Three, you got two, it? Yeah. You one, got one who cares. Go. Come on. 
Amy is capable of being pushed. And I think the fact that Kim doesn't push her hard enough Four, feeds into Amy thinking Three, that she's weak. On. Two, one more, go, points, two. Beautiful. Okay, baby. Seven. Amy is confused. I think she made the wrong decision by switching teams. And I feel like in the long run, Amy will look back on this and um, she will absolutely regret what's going on. Go, 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 five, four, three, two, and one. Have a seat. Beautiful, roll and recover. Let the heart rate come back down nice and smooth. Still to come, will Amy's decision to leave Kim and train with Jillian pay off? And later, you won't believe what happens in the most dramatic way in in Biggest Loser history. the first week that I was anticipating the scale instead of dreading it. I think it'll be different not having our trainers in there during the weigh-in. You know, their teams are all split up in trios now, so it'll be different definitely, but I was uh, anxious to see the numbers this week. I picked Neil and Isabeau because they're so dedicated and they're such hard workers that um, I think that we have a great chance of staying above the yellow line the entire time we're in trios. Welcome, everyone, to your first weigh-in as trios. The team with the lowest percentage of weight loss will fall below the yellow line. Fall below that line, and your team is up for elimination. In which case, the other three teams get to choose which member of your team will be sent home. Bill, Amy, Julie, you guys are going to weigh in first. Bill, you're up. Last week, you lost 11 pounds. Let's see how you did this week. All right. I was a little anxious, a little nervous. All I know is that it's been a difficult week, and I guess uh, anything could happen. Bill, your previous weight was 268 pounds. Your current weight is... 261 pounds, we lost seven pounds this week. It's been a difficult last few days, so I hope it helps the team stay above the yellow line and uh, happy. I've had several double-digit weight loss weeks and all, but I was actually pretty happy with my seven-pound weight loss this week. Amy, last week you lost three pounds. Let's see how you did this week. I've been working out with Jillian. I'm hoping that, you know, I can put up some higher numbers, maybe more consistent numbers than I was with Kim. Amy, your previous weight was 265 pounds. Current weight is. Amy, your current weight is 265 pounds. You didn't lose any weight this week. You know, it was a very hard, emotional week. It's disappointing to see, but we're gonna fight every day, so. So awful to go from Kim to Jillian, the fact that I lost nothing. No, I'm just really disappointed and upset right now. It's okay. Julie, last week you lost four pounds. Let's find out how you did. I was panic stricken because I just thought, great, all of this rests on my shoulders now. Julie, your previous weight was 195 pounds. Your current weight is. Your current weight is 192 pounds. You lost three pounds this week. I wish it had been more. You have no control over the scale, you know? You only have control over how hard you work. All right, Bill, Amy, Julie, you started out the week with a combined weight of 728 pounds. You have lost 10 pounds. And your combined total percentage of weight loss is 1.37%. B, Ryan, Nicole, in order to beat Bill, Amy, and Julie and guarantee your safety from elimination, you will need to have lost more than 11 pounds. B, let's find out how you did this week. My first thing is just hoping that I go into 300 pounds. I've been hoping that I do it for the last two weeks now, and uh, it would only take me five pounds tonight to go under. Be your previous weight is 304 pounds. Your current weight is... I was ecstatic, you know, to, to see that I lost seven pounds this weekend, was able to go into 300. I was definitely happy with that.
I can't even do one. I'm sorry. Oh, Allison. I'm under 300. That's all I can say. Yeah, baby. No more threes. I'm, I'm done with them. Brian, let's see how you did this week. I was pretty confident. I wasn't expecting double digits, but I was expecting a good result. Brian, your previous weight was 320 pounds. Your current weight is? Your previous weight was 320 pounds. Your current weight is? That's impossible. Oh my god, that's a lie. Brian, your current weight is 321 pounds, and you did gain one pound this week. We've had bad weeks before. This is a whole nother level. I just can't believe that, based on what we've done. I felt terrible. I mean, we're here to lose weight, and so I was surprised. I, I don't understand it. I can't explain it. Um, it really doesn't make sense to me at all. Nicole, you need to have lost more than five pounds to guarantee your team's safety from elimination this week. Last week, you lost four pounds. So let's see how you did this week. After what happened with Ryan, I was really thrown off. And I was like, what the hell is going on? Nicole, your previous weight was 248 pounds. Your current weight is? <laughs> your current weight is 244 pounds. You lost four pounds this week. So when I got up there and I lost four pounds, like, I was excited. But the fact that, you know, we're on the chopping block, it was kind of really freaking me out. Sorry, guys. OK, B, Ryan and Nicole, as a trio, this week you lost 10 pounds. And your combined total percentage of weight loss is 1.15%. There are two teams left to weigh in. And if both of them top your numbers, you will be going to the elimination. OK, Holly, David. In order to beat Ryan, B, and Nicole and stay out of the elimination room, your team needs to have lost more than eight pounds. Okay, let's get you up there. When Allison called my name, I was so nervous because I've been so out of sync with everything, and I was just starting to freak out in my head. Okay, your previous weight was 178 pounds. Your current weight is? Okay, your current weight is 174 pounds. You lost four pounds this week. I'll admit, like, before, sometimes, you know, I look at four pounds and I'm like, you know, I could have done better, but for this week, I'm, I'm just so grateful for those numbers. And remember, as a team, you need to have lost more than eight pounds to guarantee your safety. Holly, let's get you on that scale. Got it, Holly. If I did not lose any weight, I was just gonna feel so guilty and bad because I didn't want them to think that I had slacked off at all during my time here. Holly, last week you lost three pounds and your previous weight was 225 pounds. Your current weight is? <laughs> well, your current weight is 223 pounds. You lost two more pounds this week. <laughs> I'm so relieved. I didn't know if I was going to lose any weight, so that too feels like 10 to me, so I'm happy. I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy with my two pounds, considering what happened last week. Losing my mom it was really hard. I was still pleased to see that I did lose some weight. I'm just happy that there's some progress being made. We've got one teammate left to weigh in. David, in order to beat out B, Ryan and Nicole, and keep your team above the yellow line, you will need to have lost more than two pounds. Last week, you lost five pounds. So let's get you on that scale, see how you did. David, your previous weight was 323 pounds. And your current weight is? You lost eight pounds this week. I'm about as happy 
about seeing that eight on that scale this week as I am about anything. I'll take that. Congratulations. Thank you. I lost eight pounds this week, and I'm very excited about that. You always look for a bigger number, but in my heart, anything over five pounds is, is really respectable, I think. Okay, Holly, David, at the beginning of this week, your combined weight was 726 pounds. And as a trio, this week you lost 14 pounds. And your combined total percentage of weight loss is 1.93%. Not only are you safe from elimination this week, so far you're in first place. Jez, Isabeau, and Neil, you need to have lost more than 10 pounds in order to push B, Ryan, and Nicole below the yellow line. Otherwise, the three of you are headed to elimination. So, Jazz, let's see how you did picking your teammates. Jazz, your previous weight was 295 pounds. Your current weight is... 289 pounds. You've lost six pounds this week. I was able to put six on the board, and Neil's lost double digits five out of the six weeks we've been in weigh-ins. I felt pretty confident. Isabel, last week you lost five pounds. Okay. I feel like I have two of the strongest players on my team. There is just no way that we could lose. Isabel, your previous weight was 259 pounds. Your current weight is... current weight is 255 pounds. You lost four pounds this week. I'll take it. I mean, every pound is another pound. So you keep going. Don't you gain. <laughs> After I saw that I had lost four and knowing that Jez had lost six, I knew we only had one more pound before we were safe above that yellow line. And that brings your team's total weight loss so far to 10 pounds. Neil, it all comes down to you in order to beat out B, Ryan, and Nicole. You need to have lost more than one pound. Last week, you lost 10 pounds. So let's see how you did. As Neil was walking up to the scale, I really did think it was over for us. I mean, he pulled double digits five out of the six weeks. I was like, we're going into the elimination room. Neil, your previous weight was 355 pounds. Your current weight is... Your current weight is 372 pounds. You have gained 17 pounds this week. <laughs> I have no idea how to explain this. If anything, I thought I kicked my workouts up a notch. Uh, 17 pounds gained this week. My heart dropped. I couldn't believe it. I'm so sorry, guys. It's like, it's not just letting me down. I let my team down, too. And that's what makes it so hard. I, I, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. When I saw Neil's number, it took a while for your brain to register what was going on. And I just think that everybody's jaws were hanging on the floor. It was just unbelievable. Neil, your team started out this week with a combined weight of 909 pounds. And as a trio this week, you have gained seven pounds with a total weight gain percentage of 0.77%. And since Jez, Isabeau, and Neil are below the yellow line, they will be headed to the elimination room, where the other three trios will cast one vote each for the person that they want to send home. For the first time this season, two players have actually gained weight tonight. Maybe the game is on. Whatever the reason may be, you all have until tomorrow night to decide who is going home. I'll see you guys then.
Come on, bud. You know, my gut tells me is just sending up flares. Something's not right. Something's not right. Something's not right. There's no human way that you can gain 17 pounds in a week. Neil clearly has water loaded. The only thing I'm concerned about is I don't think he would take that risk without having a plan. And I'm sure that there are other people in on the plan, and I've been completely blind to it. I'm dumbfounded. I'm dumbfounded. I would have never imagined in a million years that I would have seen a plus 17 on that board. I don't want to even be in the same state as Bob tomorrow. He's going to lose it. Tell me one thing. Oh, I don't get it. I don't understand it. Do you know what everybody is going to think? Everybody. And they're probably sat down there saying it right now. I don't believe that. I just don't believe you're that guy. I'm not that guy. You go down there and look him in the eye right now. Right now. I just don't get it. Come on. I'm not playing, Neil. I saw you in there. I'm sorry, bro. I know that this sounds bad, Neil, and it's just being the devil's advocate here, but it, it, it is hard to believe that someone can gain 17 pounds without game play. I know, Julie, I know the way this looks. The reason I didn't stay upstairs is because it's easy for me to run away and just let everyone think that I threw the you know I would never throw away. You know I wouldn't. I couldn't gain 17 pounds in six days if I wanted to. 17 is like so outlandish. It's like, really? So I just don't understand like what the hell you ate. Let's assume it's sodium, okay? So that means what, I'm retaining more water? One gallon of water is like just under nine pounds. I would have to consume more than two gallons of water retaining. How did you know a gallon of water weighs eight pounds? I promised my blue team before we even broke up. My goal was to keep myself here, and I'll do everything in my power to try to keep every one of them here, too. So I made a conscious decision that I was going to throw the way in. Someone on my team's going to be sent home this week. It's not going to be me, though. I knew I had to start playing the game. We'll see what happens, man. You try to be fair and honest in shaping these teams and give yourself a little bit of an advantage, and that's what I felt like I did. And uh, for it to blow up in my face like this, I don't know. This just doesn't make sense. And so I just don't know where this puts us. What will be will be, man. This is, I think, like the, one of the dirtiest things I've ever seen. Maybe it's all coming to a head. Maybe everyone's in on it. Before Bob walked in today, I, I really was kind of terrified more than anything else to talk to him. Whatever happens, happens, and just, uh, just hope for the best. I knew he was going to be upset. I didn't know the degree of how upset he would be. I had butterflies in my stomach. Coming up, Bob learns of Neil's shocking pounds are you hitting me and later find out who's going home we only had one choice what happened i gained a pound you gained a pound i don't understand it either what happened what, did, what happened with you i lost four pounds that's great what about you you lost four what about you neil I gained some weight. 17 pounds. Are you kidding me? 17 pounds? Are you kidding me? I'm sorry, Bob. I really, really am sorry. You should be sorry. I know sorry doesn't make it better, but for what it's worth, I'm sorry. It's not like I'm not. I'm throwing everything you've taught me out the window. It's not like that at all, because I know what you believe. I know you're about <laughs> self-inspiration. I know you're about 
making sure we do the right thing. And if I can help somebody else stay here, like the rest of the blue team as well, then that's just added incentive for, to try to do something. I mean, have you not learned anything from me, Neil? I was like, what the hell went on? What went on? That is a slap in the face with everything that we do here at The Biggest Loser. It looks like I was responsible for this. The decision I made in regards to what happens tonight, I'm, I'll take the hit. I'll own up to it. I am so mad that I cannot even see straight right now. What did he gain? 17. He gained 17 pounds? 17 pounds. Damn it! Ugh. Would ever think to drink two gallons of water right before the weigh-in? Two gallons? Two gallons. He did it to get rid of Isabeau. Then I will leave knowing that I played with integrity, knowing I worked my ass off, and knowing that I did everything possible to stay in this game the righteous way. But if I go home today, I'm going to be fine. The blue team has launched this master plan to basically assassinate black team members. I just like, I don't want to go home because of somebody else's, like, right, because of somebody away. else's manipulation. And I hope that, like, justice is served and karma is a bitch tonight. But if it isn't, then, like, I'm leaving, like, wanting to live more than I ever have. I was here to get the life I haven't had in the 22 years I've lived. Like, that's more than I ever thought I'd get. It's just malicious. All right, let's go work out. Head out to the gym. I'll be right there. I'm emotionally and physically drained. It's disgusting, Neil. I hope you're proud of yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny. With people's lives, it's really funny. That's a lot to be proud of. Jay, what's going on? I just don't want to do anything. I know, but you have to, baby. You have to. Everything that went into the last night and today, it, it, it threw me for such a loop, just the deception and feeling the idea that I, I, I actually could go home. It, for a short period of time, just uh, brought back all those fears of failure. I just don't want to go home. You don't want to go home? You're not going home, kiddo. Pretty sure this is an assassination attack on his boat. I am a man who believes in something and has principles and gave it my damnedest while I was here and found strength where I didn't think there was any. Guys, I'm asking you for something. I'm asking you for this and I mean it. We need to keep our eye on the prize here and that is making you healthy. We need to stay focused, more focused than ever. as trios. Neil, it's a pretty somber room. It seems like a lot of your friends feel like you intentionally threw that way in. Everyone knows exactly what I did, and the game is on. You took a pretty big risk, Neil. I mean, you had to have a lot of confidence that your former teammates would back you up here tonight. Absolutely. I think it's still a risk. I think you know, my fate still is unknown of what's going to happen. To the task at hand, as we go down the table, each trio will reveal who they voted for. Jez, Isabeau, or Neil. Whichever one of them receives the most votes will be asked to leave the Biggest Loser campus immediately. Julie, Bill, and Amy, you're first. Unfortunately tonight, my three teammates only have one voice. But I feel like that it needs to be a strong voice for everyone who ever has and who ever will play this game with integrity, with fairness, and with honesty. We only had one choice, and we chose. Coming up, BiggestLoserClub.com transformation moment. See for the first time how the eliminated player looks today. The Biggest Loser Club, it's changing lives. Julie. Bill and Amy, you're first. 
We only had one choice, and we chose. That's one vote for you, Neil. One more vote, and you will be eliminated. Ryan, B, Nicole, it's your turn. I can assure you that our vote tonight had nothing to do with game, but it was informed by the bonds that we've created and the uh, loyalty to the relationships that have evolved. So we were forced to choose between two people who deserve to be here next week. We voted for Jez. That's one vote for you, Jez, and one vote for you, Neil. So if either of you receives the next vote, that means you're going home. However, if this third vote is for Isabeau, that will create a three-way tie, in which case, the person with the lowest percentage of weight loss at last night's weigh-in will be eliminated, which in this case is you, Neil. David, Kay, and Holly, it's up to you. Neil and Jez's fate is in your hands. How did you vote? I think in competition, you want to compete against the best because that's what makes you better. With that being said, also as trios, we had to compromise. We're all original members of another team, uh, and we have to build a team that will hopefully take us far in this game. With that being said, our vote tonight is for Chess. Chess. Yeah. That's two votes for you. I live my life consumed by fear, by fear of failing and the fear of succeeding. I wasn't ready to leave, but you know, I leave with my character intact and my integrity and uh, some raging, some raging triceps. Didn't see this coming. Good luck to uh, the rest of the competitors. It's been a fun ride. I'm sorry, Jez, but you're not the biggest loser. Now it's time to say goodbye to your teammates. Come here, Pula. I know we're going to have to say goodbye to you. Me neither. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of my team. I realize that this isn't a failure. I have nothing to be ashamed of. I'm so much stronger than I could have ever possibly imagined. The health and the happiness that I'm going to have are going to be a constant reminder 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years down the road. America, next time you'll see me, you'll only see half of me. When I started on the Biggest Loser campus, I weighed 345 pounds. Today, I weigh 242 pounds. I've lost 103 pounds. To truly get the results I wanted to, I, I needed to make a big change. So I decided to come back out to California. You can't really even put into words how, how different your life is. I have more energy. I'm just happier and uh, healthier. The most valuable thing uh, I learned from being on The Biggest Loser is truly the strength that I have inside of me. He manipulated the game, but at what cost? It is not going to be easy to look at his face every day. Next Tuesday, be there to witness the aftermath. Everybody's going chaotic in the house. I'm so irritated with how stupid people are. I can't take it. An all-new Biggest Loser, next Tuesday after The Singing Bee on NBC.